Welcome to Press the Dice Gods. I'm Alan, and these are the five things I learned about entering my first painting competition. So, one of my main reasons for entering the competition was the judges. Um, I entered Small Model because Lila Mev. The Mini Witch uh, was doing the judging on that initially, and then it went on to Duncan Rhodes. These two, of course, are two of my favourite YouTubers. I love the work they do, and I love watching their videos. Getting feedback from such amazing artists is possibly one of the best things about entering a paint competition. If you can get feedback from the judges, then you know exactly what you've done wrong and where you can improve, which is how I've made today's list. The first thing I learned is the rule of cool does not apply in a painting competition. Now, as a hobbyist, you know the rule of cool when it comes to a model is key. You want to make it as unique and awesome as possible. But when it comes to a painting competition, that could be your downfall. Now, I painstakingly planned out my base. I designed it. I 3D printed parts of it. I went all out on making it try and look as cool as possible and it did me in. It's what stopped me getting into the top three, apparently, was the base, because it obscured all of that lovely paint job that I'd spent all that time doing. Number two, composition. Now, having not been a traditional artist or been to college or university to study art, composition is something I struggle with, because it doesn't compute in my brain. When I'm painting, I'm looking to paint the model uh, as sort of realistic as possible with those colours. When it comes to a painting competition, on the other hand, composition seems to be a big deal. Now, what that means is colours should be used more than once. Things should tie together. So I went for the rule of cool with the base. Uh, this didn't actually use any of the colours I'd used on the main model. That should have had some sort of tie-in. It didn't. Uh, there are parts on the model, such as the spell in his hand, that wasn't tied in anywhere else, though I did try. I think I pushed the highlights a little bit too far with the, uh, the blue highlights on the black armour, which then made it not look like it fit together. I was planning on doing some OSL, but of course I ran out of time. That would have tied the blue in, but then there was the green on the skin for his face, which tied in absolutely nowhere else on the model. Number three, Lila in her feedback suggested that the bottom of the model should be darker than the top which is something i really can't argue with because it makes perfect sense when somebody else points it out to you you want to push the focal point up towards the top because the top of the model is going to be brighter you need something like the face that the judge's eyes will be pushed towards and that's where most of your top highlight should be i pushed it a little bit too far all over the model which meant that when you looked at it it just kind of made you bounce around to all different spots Number four, the golden viewing angle. Something I have never ever considered when painting a model. Something that seems to make perfect sense once somebody points it out to you. And that's literally the front facing part of the model showing as much of the details as possible. So like his staff and his spell and his face, you wanna get those in. Now the golden viewing angle doesn't mean straight on the face. It means covering as much of that detail on the front as possible, which I completely obscured with the base. So always make sure that golden viewing angle is nice and clear for the judge to see all of your beautiful paintwork. Number five, you will never be happy with what you've done. It doesn't matter how long you spend on it, how much blending you do, how much glazing, it really comes down to you have to pick a point to stop because otherwise you will never finish your entry. It's sad, it happens to pretty much everybody I've spoken to about entering painting competitions, you just don't, never seem to have enough time to get it to look the way that you really want it to. And the fact is, you're just trying to push to perfection and you'll never reach perfection because when it comes to painting, there really isn't such a thing. It really comes down to what the judges want to see. So if you get some nice smooth blends, you get nice contrast, you get really good composition, they're the things you need to aim for. Don't worry so much about trying to make things perfect because it will never happen because as far as you're concerned, you are your worst critic and nothing will ever be perfect. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to destroy the like button like our Space Marines doing here. 
And if you haven't already, make like an orc and smash that subscribe button.